Okay, we are going to get into our dumbbell routine three. So again, what you can be doing with this is watch me demonstrate the movements, go ahead, press pause, do the movements yourself, do the number of sets, and then resume when you're ready for what's next. Now, a lot of today is actually going to be on the ground. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna start out with a wide stance hip bridge. So you did hip bridges the other day, but today what we're going to be doing is a nice wide stance. Okay, so for this, start in the regular hip bridge position, walk your legs out, and we're going to bridge up just like this, okay? Again, you should feel this exercise in your butt. This is A1, so we're going to do the prescribed number of repetitions, and then from there what we're going to do is we're going to move into slow mountain climbers, okay? So a couple options here. One is going to be just your traditional slow mountain climber. So we're in push-up position, we go nice and slow in. If you can bring your knee to your forearm, that's great. If this is a little bit challenging, what you can do is you can always just hold this high plank position. And another thing that you can do is drop down to your knees and hold that plank position. So of those three different variations, go ahead and pick whichever one you feel best suits you. So again, it's gonna be we're gonna go that wide stance bridge, those slow mountain climbers, rest, and then repeat for the number of sets that you decided that you were going to end up doing. The next one that you are, the next one that you are going to do, so now we're moving into our B-based exercises, is first going to be a seated overhead press. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit just like this, with the dumbbells at our side, we're going to press straight up in the air just like this. Okay. Now, this one actually challenges your core, so try not to lean back too far like this, try not to hyperextend, try to keep our legs only slightly bent when we do this exercise. You can always just use one dumbbell, just like this, if you find that to be a little bit challenging. So, we're gonna do that, and then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to be on all fours, and we're gonna do a dumbbell row from here. So we're on all fours, and we're just going to row up, just like this, and you should feel this in your back, and you're gonna to try to keep your back nice and straight too when you do this exercise. So I'll show you from the side. We're just rowing up, just like this. Okay. So then we're gonna pop back to our seated overhead press, do those exercises together. All right. The next thing that we're going to do, so we're moving on to our next circuit of exercises, is gonna be a bear hold and a tricep kickback. So for the bear hold, do, do this to the best of your ability. So we're gonna start down on all fours just like this. And we're gonna lift up. And imagine if you had a glass of water on your back. We don't want that to spill. So whatever time we prescribe this for, try your best to hold it. If you have to drop back down, that's totally fine. Just try to get back into it when you feel ready, okay? So if you can see this, my knees are just about an inch above the ground. I'm just lifting up a little bit. So we're gonna do that bear hold. From the bear hold, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our weight, okay? This weight should probably be a little bit lighter than the row that you just did in the previous set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up like this and we're going to kick back. And this is a tricep exercise. We're gonna kick back, squeeze for a second, kick back and squeeze for a second. So that's gonna be your tricep kick back. Again, we're pairing this hold just like this. And then when you're done, go to the kick back. And after that, you can rest and then repeat your next set of, action, of uh, the bear hold and the tricep kickback. Okay, kickback. Okay, our, our last one that we're going to do, we're going to be standing, okay? And if you have a chair for this, that's great. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go squat to a chair and then we're going to go deadlift. So for the squat to the chair, what I'm gonna do is hold the weight just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, and this is important too if you have any knee issues, is that we're really going to sit back when we do this exercise. Touch, come back up. We're not relaxing. We're just going to tap and come right back up. If that depth is challenging, if you have the higher chair or maybe you have to put a pillow on a chair, that's totally fine. Again, everything within our comfort and control, again, we're sitting back just like this and coming right back up. Okay? From the front, what that's going to look like is this. We're sitting back, we're pushing our knees out, coming right back up. Okay? So that is the squat, 
as soon as you're done with that, we're gonna do a deadlift. So while this still trains some of the front of your legs, we're gonna focus even more on sitting back. So your feet are not as far apart, they're about shoulder width apart. We're pushing our hips back, keeping our back nice and straight, and we'll feel that a little bit more in our hamstrings, okay? So if you have any kind of back issues, just be sure to use a lighter weight for this. This is a good movement to get down, but of course we can get it down with lighter weight. So again, we're pushing our hips back, keeping our back straight. When we get to the top, we're squeezing our butt. We don't want to hyperextend with our back, okay? So that's the last set of exercises. Do your squats, do your deadlifts, rest, and then finish up the prescribed number of sets.